and welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do pose landmark detection using media pipe in react native's new architecture now unfortunately this video will be only for android as you can see it does not support ios yet and i'll show you the output now the output is little off so i have one button once i click on it it opens the photos app and here you can select one uh, you uh, person's pose so as you can see over here i have selected this image but the pose which is detected is slightly off again i feel like this is an issue with react native or the way i have coded it because i don't face this issue in native android side so in case if you are able to figure it out this minor issue do let me know in the comments so that it can help others as well so yeah let's get started so first you will have to go to this documentation and here you will have to uh, download uh, one of these three models now it depends on you which one you want the heavier you use it will increase your app size as well but it will give you more accuracy and performance but the light one is uh, low in size but it is less accurate as compared to others so yeah use whatever makes sense to you just download this model for now next create a react native project and also at the time of this recording uh, like react native has removed the new architecture docs i don't know why so i won't be able to show it to the, show it to you the docs but i have just copy pasted a bunch of code my from my previous videos so this rtn my picker will help us to pick uh, image from our photos app and send the uri of the selected photo from native android side to react native side so rtn my picker is a turbo module and rtn my image will help us to display the uh, image of the selected photo as well as uh, do post detection so it is a fabric module so first go to the main android folder you have to search for new arc enabled and you will have to make this as true next uh, you will have to go to uh, build.gradle over here and make sure you use at least kotlin 1.9.0 next you have to go to app build.gradle over here and here you will have to use min hdk version of 24 and here uh, yeah that's it next uh, i have created a folder uh, called so create a folder called rtn my picker and inside that create a file called package.json and i have copy pasted everything from the documentation only this name changes this name changes this this changes and this changes everything else remains the same next created a create a pod spec file again i have copied it from the documentation only this name changes next go to js folder inside that create a typescript file again i have copy pasted it from docs only the method name changes and this name changes next create an android folder inside that create build or gradle file again i have copy pasted it from docs and here i am using build gradle version of 8.2.0 once uh, you do that uh, here uh, the compile hdk version is 34 and here i have also changed the namespace I'm, and i'm using kotlin standard lib of 1.9.0 next here i have created an src main java com rt and my picker i have created my picker module.kt and uh, here uh, i am using a hack because for picking images in uh, latest android apis you need to use register for activity result and for that you require an activity uh, or a fragment and that and this turbo module uh, does not is not an activity or fragment right so that's why i'm using a hack so i'm basically asking the user for internet permission now i know uh, you don't need uh, need to ask explicitly for internet permission so yeah again it is a hack so I'm basically asking for internet permission once the pick image method is called. So once we ask for internet permission, the callback goes to the main activity. Now I'll come back to the main activity in a bit. So yeah, this is our picker module and this is our picker package. Again, I have copy pasted this from docs only this name changes of my picker module, my picker module over here, over here as well as over here. Next go to Android SRC main create an assets folder and here you can drag and drop your tf light model which we have downloaded from media pipe documentation next go to java main activity.kt so once you request for the internet permission the uh, here 
I have added again the same thing. So the callback comes over here on request permission result. And if the permission is granted, so I have created one helper method for that as well. I am launching our photo pickers app. So here you can see I'm using register for activity result. And once the user selects an image, we get a URI. And I just send this URI back to the uh, React Native side. Uh, next, you will have to create this folder called RTN My Image, which is a fabric module. And I have created one package.json. Again, I have copy pasted it from docs. Only this name changes, this changes, uh, this changes. Uh, next, create a pod spec file. Again, copied it from docs. Only this name changes. Next, I have created a JS folder. Inside that, I have created a TypeScript file. So this takes an image URL as a prop. And this name I have changed. Everything else remains the same. Next, go to Android build.gradle. Again, I have copy pasted it this from docs as well. Only I have added apply plugin Kotlin Android build Gradle version. I have upgraded to 8.2.0 compile HDK version of 34 min HDK version 24 target is of 34 as well. And here I have added Kotlin standard lib. I have also added our media pipe dependency for post detection. Coil is used for uh, loading bitmap inside an image view. And I am also using constraint layout which I will sh tell you why I am using it in a bit. Next go to src main java com rt in my image. First create this overlay view.kt. So this will basically draw our post shape on our particular image and to be honest with you i have just copied it from documentation so you can go to the android docs and you can just click on overlay view.kt file and as you can see i have just copy pasted everything from the documentation so yeah it it, it is it basically uses a canvas which helps us to draw shape on our image so yeah next you will have to go create a file called my image package.kt again i have copy pasted it from docs only this name changes and this name changes next i have create my image.kt and it extends from constraint layout and the reason why i'm using constraint layout because i want the overlay view as well as the image view on top of each other next i have created overlay view and image view and i have created our set model asset path now here you will have to use the same name which you have given inside the assets folder okay so this name over here next here we are just building our options uh, landmarker setting the confidence uh, setting the number of poses setting running mode for image and here i have created one variable for pose landmarker initializing it over here then we are setting our uh, constraint layouts id as well as width and height then we are defining a constraint set then we are uh, defining an id uh, for our image adding it to our constraint layout uh, setting some width and height as well over here and then here we are basically constraining the images uh, top bottom start and end uh, to constraint layouts top bottom start and end and the same thing exact same thing we are doing it for the overlay view as well and then we are just applying our constraint layout next you will have to go to my image uh, manager.kt and here again i have copy you can copy this imports and i have copy pasted <coughs> sorry uh, all the uh, code from the documentation uh, so this 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 here i have created one life cycle variable and again this has been copied from docs all this stuff only names has been changed once we get the image url we convert it to a bitmap and then we scale down this bitmap over here with the help of this scale down method and uh, then we convert the bitmap to an mp image we pass the mp image to the detect method of pose landmarker and here we uh, send, send the result to our overlay view dot set result as well as the width and height and here we are using the load method of our coil to load our bitmap inside our image view once uh, that is done you can open your terminal go to the root of your react native project and firstly you will have to run this command then you will have to run this command then you will have to do cd space dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command but instead of rn app you will have to replace with your own project name so my project name is rn app over here over here as well as over here same then you will have to run this command same replace with your project name then you will have to cd to android main android folder and then you will have to run this command so this will do a uh, code generation for android as well next you can import it using something like this 
okay and here you don't uh, need this because this is ios specific and we are not doing it for ios so we don't need this as well so once the user selects an image we get the image uri over here so here you can see i am using touchable opacity and calling pick image method and once we have the image uri we are just displaying inside rt in my image so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye